all right? It's map it out and predictions, all right? I think a lot of people in the YouTube space, the internet space, they're out here giving you score predictions, out here doing the prediction thing. Uh, we like to do a little bit different, all right? I gave a history lesson on the homie Nostradamus a couple weeks back. Uh, maybe that was last week. Was Nostradamus history lesson last week? Uh, mm-hmm. Yes. I think that was last it's all week. Blending together. Had a history lesson on the homie Nostradamus, and uh, it got us thinking, maybe we ought to apply a little Nostradamus to this uh, show, all right? So here's our attempt to do this every single week. We're going through the five biggest, maybe even six, yeah, five, five, five biggest football games of the weekend. All right, we're going to map it out, how these games are going to play out, and then hammer home a prediction. Are we ready, boys? We are ready. Let's do it. All right, let's do it. All right, Michigan at Texas, the big game of the weekend. It's a nooner, boys. I hate this. I will always hate this. Big noon kickoff, get over yourself. Fox, get over yourself. This is a night football game. It should be. Screw you for making me start this one at noon. Who wants to kick it off? I'll kick it off. Yes, I was going to start with saying that. The fact that us no, also... Are you not going to do the thing? What thing? Oh, my God. I don't know what you're talking about, dude. God damn it. <laughs> Go ahead. It sucks Jay. for well, us. You got the floor. Thank you. I think it sucks for us, too, because Georgia plays it, too. That's what we'll be covering. So we're going to miss probably the second half of this football game. But I digress. Uh, I think this game is going to be a stalemate throughout the first half. I think this is this whole first half is going to be spent Texas and Michigan trying to figure each other out. Figure out Sarkeesian trying to figure out where Michigan's defense uh, can be exposed. Where, where are the holes in this defense? Where can they find some shots? And then Michigan is just trying to figure out, hey, do we have an offense yet? Like, no. still feel the pulse. No. Are we alive yet? I'm going with no as well. Uh, that's why I think going into the second half, though, I think Michigan's going to force a turnover. They're going to get good field position. They're going to get a score. I think this is going to be 10-3 football game. Michigan makes it 10-10 out of halftime. Ooh. Michigan feels like they swung the momentum. They're going to storm the gates out. They're going to turn this game upside down, and they're going to pull off this upset. But then Sarkeesian and Quinn Ewers say, psych, you, you, you got the wrong number here. I think Texas' offense just absolutely turns it up, and I think they're going to walk out of the building with a 27-13 win. Mm. What do you got for me, Kirby? You sure you want to know? I'm 100% positive, baby. Come on, give it to me. 100%. Yep. All right. No doubt. I think it's going <laughs> to... Damn, you pump fake me this time. Mm-hmm. I love this. I think I see kind of a slow start. It's kind of, it's going to be a big environment. The big house is one of the harder environments to play in. Texas will kind of have to get their footing quickly. I think it's going to be kind of a low scoring first quarter, maybe even a first half, but eventually Texas will kind of start to ramp things up. Mm. Michigan will make some plays here. Michigan will get a couple of scores, but I think this is a game where Texas stays one step ahead, where Texas scores a touchdown. Michigan has to sell for a field goal. Michigan gets a field goal, or uh, Texas gets a field goal. Michigan stalls out in no man's land stuff like that and i think that it'll be kind of a close matchup but it won't ever really be in doubt texas wins this game like 35 to 20 in my opinion y'all know y'all remember when ohio state was like deathly good offensively y'all remember those times with like cj stroud and them boys Mm -hmm. do y'all remember every single time a good ohio state offense would play penn state and it would be like 34 17 yep. and it would be like oh man penn state's down 21 to 7 and there's no way and chance in hell they're ever winning this football game that's what's going to happen this weekend in yeah. Ann Arbor. And Michigan's going to be Penn State. And Texas is going to be Ohio State in this matchup. I see a bludgeoning coming. That's what I see. I see a, uh, if there's one thing, in my opinion, over the last, what, three years that Sark's been at Texas, if there's been one thing they've been able to do, it's commit bodies to the box and stop the run. They can't stop passing attacks to save their life. And I don't think they're going to be able to when they face a good one this year. It's still going to be my concern about them. It's my only real concern about them, apart from rapport with weaponry, but it didn't seem like that was much of a problem last week. I know it was Colorado State. But um, I, I do see Texas getting out early, having a good plan for this Michigan defense, um, and, and creating some explosives early in this football game and jumping out to a lead. And once that's happening to Michigan this year, I mean, it was the case in years prior with a different football coach there and a quality NFL quarterback in, in uh, J.J. McCarthy. If you got a lead on them, they were cooked. It was almost like a, uh, an option offense. They had no answers. I see Texas jumping out early and, and commanding this football game throughout. 34-17, Texas wins on the road. Yeah, one of those games where it's kind of like maybe they can get back into it and just something always continues to happen. Or it's like Tech Michigan will bring it within two scores. And it's like, hey, this could be the start. And then Texas immediately steps on it. I think that's kind of what the game you're how, looking at. How bad is Alex Orgy? How bad must he be at practice? Not great. Can't be great. I mean, but why, why weren't they in the portal then? They had to have seen that. 
This coach has been there for years watching this in practice. Why Why in spring, first of all, I understand why you sit on your hands in the spring because by then all the good guys are gone. And maybe they got a late jump on it because they were national champions. And maybe they got a late jump on it because they had so much staff turnover. But holy crap, why did you wait until August to go, shit, we got to start the walk on? My only... My only fear on this is that it's like a Bama USF thing last year. It's like we're going to sit Jalen Miro to know, let him know that he doesn't actually have control of this team. He's got to earn it every week. That's the only thing where I can see it happening because, I mean, like you said, that if you didn't think this was the guy week one, you probably knew he wasn't the guy at the end of the season last year. Yeah. So unless they think, hey, he's probably our guy, but he's got to make sure he earns it. We're going to let the walk on do 50-50 reps with him against a dog team like Fresno State. Mm. That might be what it is. I don't know. I can't, I can't imagine they try to run the two quarterback system against Texas. No. We're all on Texas, huh? Correct. Yes. And we were all on Texas preseason, too, mm. in this matchup.